now that we've talked about how to effectively poke, uh, let's talk so about... My opponent is a poke monster, what do I do? How to defend <laughs> against pokes. Alright. What do? Yeah, what do you do about, <laughs> about pokes? What do you do about pokes? Alright, so, you know, like we were saying, uh, what we were saying before is that, you know, if someone is um, constantly doing, um, doing mid, mid attacks, um, you know, they tend to be negative. So, first thing that's really important when defending against pokes is you've got to um, hold back. Yeah, yeah holding you're... forward or tagging on your home will get you a hit. Yeah, so. <laughs> Um, because, like, every time you, usually when you get hit by a move, you are at negative. Which means that you're at disadvantage, and if you try to attack back, their moves will hit you. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking. Uh, it's not always the case, but it's usually a good indicator. Uh, if you get hit, you want to block. Yeah. Um, That's another use for poking. If you hit your opponent, you're generally at a very high frame advantage and you can move on to your next attack that may be a bit slower and they're very likely to block uh, because of the risk of getting counter hit is very great after getting hit by a count for one or some of the poke. Alright, so um, but if you're just holding back um, and your opponent throws mid out, you're more uh, you're more likely at advantage. So you could then uh, use that to launch a fast counter hit attack your own. So like if Dragon Off does down forward one, down forward one. I can do like a magic four counter hit. Or um do it again, I can do a forward two counter hit. Launch. You know, you've got a lot of options uh, if you've got a good counter hit game. Mm -hmm. Um you know, but it's also kind of risky trying to throw out the counter hits too. You can also use um uh, use movement so like if he does two down forward ones again i can just sidestep around it a certain way and, go here, go away. Uh, and you know um you just have to kind of know which way to step your opponent um mm -hmm. there's some their character and, and move choice sometimes they will be, that will stop you from stepping in the way mm -hmm. that you want to some um, folks are really good at stopping people from moving so but they have other weakness. Alright. So after your um so after you get into a more advantageous frame situation, uh, that's when you can use things like your counter hit tools or um, um or movement to uh, to get out of uh, a poking situation. Mm -hmm. Um so some general rules on how you know when you're at advantage or not. Um this is not the case for every move. Of course, there are some weird moves out there. Well, uh, you ask these questions every time you come in here. <laughs> what does Flot want to know? I've never heard of him before in my life. He says, Flot. hello, I'm new to this game. <laughs> I'm in the area. How I'm often a... do you have offline sessions? Uh, never. Don't bother asking again. <laughs> <laughs> None where you live. You have to yeah. come, come down to us. Yeah, so anyone that doesn't know Fla, Fla lives uh, up north and uh, just recently started coming back around. Yeah, He's so not new to tech and he just plays like he is. <laughs> yeah, so some uh, some general rules about uh, how you know when you're at a, in an advantage situation rather than a disadvantage situation. You want to describe what that is to maybe someone who doesn't understand what you mean by advantage or disadvantage? Um, right, so... When you're at advantage, that means you recover before your opponent does. Meaning that when you do an action, it will you can start your action before mm -hmm. your opponent can start. You action. can see what happens when Nina blocks this move, how she's she's quite staggered. This is an example of a move that's we'd say plus on block or gives advantage on block. Dragonov can start his next action in, in attack or movement before Nina can because she's forced into this staggered state where any any move I do, or uh, I'm high, there's a high chance that I'll interrupt her based so, on the frame. You can actually see this. Oh, in yeah. The, uh, display set. You go to in practice mode and display settings, you go to recovery animation. 
Do do display <laughs> in here. So now when someone so doesn't move, you, see, we, yeah, you okay. see that they uh, they go they get shaded blue. That means you can't act while your character is blue. All right. So if you do a move like Dragonoff's back one plus two, you can see that Dragonoff becomes normal a lot sooner than you needed to. Yeah. But a lot sooner by four. Three. Whereas like on a on a, something that's punishable, you can see Nina becomes unshaded. In this case, ten frames before. Dragonoff does. So a poke like this is is negative, or a poke like this is positive. Oh, so move. move, yeah. I, I wouldn't really classify either of those as pokes. Yeah. The standing four would be a poke, but the fourth yeah. three would not be. Oh, yeah, because it is punishable. Yeah, exactly. This is not something you want to poke with. Like this is something you want to stop other people from poking with. This is very right. fast. All right. Good night, Dad. Uh, okay. Yeah, so anyways, um, so now that you know when you if you are at advantage, means you can uh, you can act before your opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, generally you can tell uh, when you're in a match because if, if, if it is a mid attack that you blocked, uh, then you are generally at advantage. Mm -hmm. Uh, unless it's, um, you get a big block. Spin. Unless it's a very rare special type of attacks. Right. Maybe not very rare. Yeah, but, you know, most people have at least one. Yeah. But they tend to be slower. Um, so also, if you are, um, also, if you get hit by a low attack, most low attacks are negative on hit. Negative on hit. To stop you from abusing them, because these moves have pretty good range, they're low, and they have very good tracking. These are these are used to lock down your opponent's movement, but they are negative on hit, so you really can't start momentum off of them. They're really just used to stop your, either get some quick cheap damage or to stop your opponent from moving around a lot. All right. Um, so that's usually when you're at advantage, is when you block a mid or you hit by a low. Yeah, um, when you're defending. Yeah, when you're defending. Um, oftentimes, the opponent will have advantage if you block a non-launching high, like um, like jab, like general jabs or are high or um, are plus one. Yeah, so it's hard to tell by, by the hit analysis or the recovery animation, but it, it's dragging on plus one. Right. But it's something like me is standing. Yeah, like that is a launching high. Yeah, I think so, this is only negative one. Now. Uh, bigger than that. Um, yeah, so the launching highs will be tend to be negative, mm -hmm. or if they're counting at launching, like we just standing four yeah. is, is negative on on block. Also, like a forward two is negative on block. Um, but those those are counted at launch. Mm -hmm. They have to have some. Downside. They've got extra properties, yeah. Right. Um, but so if you get hit by a higher mid. Then you are almost certainly negative, You're almost certainly at disadvantage. So at that point, you'll want to just hold back, um, so that way you can either block something or get hit by a low, then you are at advantage. Generally, generally, yeah. yeah. Always be, always be aware that there are exceptions to these. Just um, if you don't know, just follow the general rule. Mids, you can you can do stuff after blocking a mid or getting hit by a low. Generally, um, but if something breaks that rule, remember that specific move next time. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So after you, after you you are at advantage, you can use, the, use your movement like we were showing. Uh, we can. I'd step out of a lot of ones, like if someone is just jabbing you, like yeah. jabbing well, over and over again. For, first of all, eventually you will backdash out of all pokes. There's no full screen, right? So a good place to start is just a good clean backdash. Uh, because you don't have to worry about which way a poke may or may not track. Uh, just backdashing out of this, this situation can be. Hard, yeah, because she's moving forward while she's doing this. But, so yeah. this is this is a good example of something you want to see. Okay. Well, like so, if I was doing something like this, maybe, see, after just a couple of repetitions, 
few times if I get out of it. Oh, she got a really good down one. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can backdash out of things. Um, um, and that, yeah, that way you don't need to worry about um, which way to step. But also, oftentimes when people are attacking, they do move forward a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, sometimes it can be difficult to get enough space to get away. So um, generally, the moves that move forward are pretty linear, so then you, you could be able to step in. Right, so like if I'm doing this to him again, you could step to the other way probably. Yeah, just get all the way around you. It's a full back combo. So, <clears throat> so yeah, if someone's abusing uh, using a string on you or a couple of moves, uh, try stepping one way. If it doesn't work, try stepping the other way. Mm -hmm. Um, every move has a week. So experiment until you find it. Or um, ask someone yeah. that plays that character or a very experienced player. Right. Um, so those are the safest ways of dealing with getting out of pokes. Um, there are a couple other ways um, uh, that, that can get better rewards. Sometimes, like um, if you know they're gonna go low, like if you've been walking down forward once for like five minutes, uh, you know they're eventually gonna want to go low. Uh, so you can, if you feel a low coming, you can do an up forward one or low crush. It's got up forward one as a low crush. A lot of characters have hop kicks, which are really good for dealing with pokes because the deal they cover a lot of options. Um, oftentimes, hop kicks will track a bit to the side. Um, they hit fairly low. Um, they're kind of fast too, yeah, really, they, relatively. Yeah, they come out. They come out the normal speed of a regular launcher. Get a full launch out. Hey, L K Cool J, how's it going? <laughs> Glad you could join us again. Um, yeah, so off kicks are a great option. Um, but the problem is that if they just keep on jabbing, you get floated. So you have to kind yeah, of. They are airborne moves. You can be. You have to get a good read on your opponent to, to use those off kicks. Um, but if you block mid, they're negative, and if you try to do a move that's not fast enough. Yeah, too slow yeah. or low, then yeah. you'll jump right over it. Right, so... Mm -hmm. oh, this doesn't work. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, but that's not a, a regular hop Yeah, this is a delay in hop kick. Right, right here. So, uh, low crushes are good for good uh, for if you're blocking a lot of mids and you feel a low is coming, or even a throw, because if you're doing a low crush like a jump, then the throws can't get you unless they're king. Yeah, if you kick is too much. Oh, yeah, gig There's a few yeah. characters that have air. Characters that have exceptionally good throws can sometimes scoop you out of the air, and that's to, that's to stop you from abusing hop kicks against grappler characters. Otherwise, you'd just be in the air all day long. Yeah, probably anything you can do. All right, so also, um, um, I think all characters have access to high crushes too. We were talking about that a bit before. Wait, everyone, everyone should have a generic crouching punch and maybe a generic down four. These modes crush highs very quickly. All right. Um, one thing to keep in note: they don't crush. Um, they generally don't like dick punch. Doesn't no dick punch doesn't. Down four seems to crush a bit faster than punch you down one. Both four frames, but okay. um, so they don't they don't crush instantly. So you might still mm -hmm. get counter hit going down. Yeah, there is a very small. I said very quickly, but there is still a small window in which you will uh, you can get hit by a high. All right. Um, you can um, if you know a high is coming, you can you can duck first, and duck then first, button, and then crush. In which and case, then... you'll you'll instantly crush yeah if you when you're when you're not doing an attack when you hold down back or, or down or down forward even you you will you will immediately crush the very next frame all high attack right. and so you can if you do down back one from standing it's like 10 frame jab but if you get to crouching and then jab it's like 12 frames but you crush highs immediately the real z man thanks for the follow thank you man we appreciate it uh yeah so Hope you're learning something so the dick punch is always a high crush option. Hey, Another master, one? master, master or king, thanks for the follow. And a nut. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a bunch of, uh, 
bunch of high pressure options. Um, you know, like dragging up, both dragging up, I mean, to have down two is basically the same move. Mm -hmm. Um, and those are the great high pressure options. Um, yeah, uh, find out what your character has to high crush. Yeah. And so you know what you've got. Um, then there's also other moves like uh, some characters have invasion moves, like Dragon Ops get that back swing blow, so if I'm just abusing uh, down forward one. Uh, uh, <laughs> a diesel camel, thank you for the. Uh, Thanks, diesel. man. Yeah. A diesel camel. 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 Yeah. camel. Yeah. Thank you for the ball. Right, so I'm going to jump forward. Yeah, so back swing blow, side around. Yeah. Um, a lot of characters have. have Some sort of back swing blow or backwards evasive move. Yeah, like you know, Venus is just a quarter circle back, and it evades all sorts of crazy stuff. All sorts of mids. All sorts of mids. <laughs> and lows. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so um, the one thing I would say is if your character does have those evasion moves, mm -hmm. do not rely on them. Learn to manually evade. Uh, and then only if that's really not possible or not working out for you, it'll rely on the evasion of moves because these moves, this move is kind of slow. You know, you can be counter hit by a big fat knee or yeah, you, you know, these these down back one crouch punch and these can be jumped over hop kick. You know, so uh, it's better just to learn to back dash or a quick side step Y or whichever. Yeah. Hey, Charbit 1995, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What can you do if they're doing something like being a down forward one or down back three a lot at the ball? Um, all right, so. Yeah, that's. Uh, good, yeah, you asked the right guy. <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ask this guy. Yeah, he deals with good. that all the time. Yeah, well, down forward one, you can step. Um, and if you've got a really fast, like, if, if I block a down forward one, this will interrupt both options, right? Like a quick ball frame mid, she won't crush it with a down back three. Um, but, um, so, you know, you can you can interrupt that mix up. You can sidestep low parry. Oh, wow. Uh, maybe you can't do that with Dragon Off because it goes that nonsense. But you can sidestep block guess, low. Yes, crush dash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, th I didn't think he actually had a crouch deck. Yeah, he, he, yeah, you can actually do this. Right, you, you, you can you can set up over here. I just gotta get good, yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, that would have been one. But you know, you you can you can build in a fuzzy guard or an option select. First of all, just a crouching punch. If my back was to the wall and I blocked it down forward one, I would. Crouching punch and then two throw, and then whether she broke that throw or not, for Dragonov's case, uh, she, like your break is two throw. Even on break, even on break, <laughs> it puts her back to the wall. So imagine Dragonov's back's to the wall. Now Nina's back to the wall, and I have all the space I need to to do that. And then even even throws that may not switch positions still uh, reset the situation and generally give space. Hardly any throw on break leaves you face to face with a pressuring opponent. So throws are a good tool to reset a situation against aggressive opponents like crouch punch throw. Uh, hey, Steve, Steve, how's it going? What up, Steve? Getting got a new account, I see. Hey, what happened to Sparkle Fist? What happened to Sparkle Fist? Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, and also you can always try, uh, doing, doing sidesteps to get out of the, uh, hmm. um, the pressure at the wall. Um, but with your back to the wall, I highly recommend it. going slow, do like a quick sidestep and a block, quick sidestep and block. Yeah, this kind of, this kind of maneuver here. And if you, if you eat a down three, like, you know, it takes a lot of down threes to put, like, down back three. Yeah. yeah. It takes a lot of down threes to kill you. I mean, so you, you take it down three, but then you just keep you just keep walking, and eventually you'll be away from the wall. Right. Um, yeah. So it's better to take a few pokes of damage than to get wall splatted. You 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 want to step and then block before a down back two will destroy you and or put you on the wall. Yeah. That, oh yeah, because that's spin now. Yeah, that's Ooh. that's a wall splat now. Ooh. 
So, um, you could just use your save homing wall splat pokes all day. <laughs> do that. If you've got a save homing wall splat at mid, do that move. Alright, yeah, so, um, action solid is if you have, uh, what character do you play? Uh, we might be able to give you some other ideas. More character specific advice. Alright, uh, so, and then the, uh, lastly, another thing. If your character has reversals or parries, they can be used um, to block him in. Yeah, oh, block him in. That wow, you reversal. suck. <laughs> Nina's reversal <laughs> sucks. <laughs> yeah. Ayo? Oh, you just use block. Oh. block <laughs> yeah, just get, just get under everything. Yeah, block 1 plus 2 will, will stop all of that. Or, um, yeah, oh, she, she's got her forward, forward, one plus two. Is that forward, forward, one plus two? I think, I think for her it's forward, forward, one plus two. Yeah, yeah. the one that, um... We'll, we'll wall splat them with your back to the wall. What a, yeah. what a grotesque idea. Yeah, and then she does, she does have her parries, um, and if she does parry, she does get a wall splat for yeah. some damage. And, uh, you're looking to avoid getting counter hit by down three, two, or down back three, like... But parries, reversals like this, oh my god, and throws. Throw is another good option, because you can't get counter hit out of a throw. You also won't get counter hit out of a reversal, or sidestep, or, you know, those things don't count as counter hits. So, like, actually attacking couldn't get you in bad shape. But, uh, you know, a throw, you'll, you'll, you'll get hit by down back three if it's, if you're too slow or whatever, but you won't get knocked down and then blunt bombed and then you're in bad shape. Right. Um, yeah, so that's, um, that's a lot on how to deal with, uh, deal with someone that is poking a lot. Mm -hmm. it takes a lot of experience, but I mean, generally every poke, if you're, if you're playing someone that's very experienced, they can use a lot of pokes, you know, a lot of the time, and it's really hard to find a single action that defeats all of them, but if someone's using only one or two, like a down forward one and a down forward, you can sidestep both of these to the right, you know? And uh, if you're also worried about a down back two, you can sidestep right duck, and you'll you'll deal with all those options. Alright. Um, and welcome back, Chris. Glad to see you. Is that Denari, Chris? Yeah, Denari, Chris. Alright. Uh, is there anything else we can think of on how to defend against pokes? Poke them first! Right? Yeah, it's a viable option. If you're, if you're being more aggressive, then make them defend against pokes. Make them, yeah, make them deal with it. Yeah, I hear Tekken 8's gonna have 46 frames of input. It's gonna be real hard to defend against pokes. Yeah, you can be more aggressive, and if your opponent isn't punishing you for being more aggressive, be super aggressive. So Battle G Dratini is saying that... Uh, <laughs> Battle Dratini, big time Poke, mon poke Monster there. <laughs> yeah, saying that you can counter hit throws. I think I think that was taken out. That, that was a weird situation. At one point in the game's development, if you traded with a throw, it counted as a counter hit, but I'm pretty sure they fixed that. Let's test. Hey, Jab. Uh, you, Jab. I jab, you throw. Full oh, frame thrust, right? I think the 14. Yeah, the counter hit's not coming up. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's not, that's not happening anymore. That was weird though, because I'm buffering just 1 plus 3. That's the... I'm down 1 plus 3 or something. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that doesn't count anymore. No confirmed here. Mm -hmm. throws don't, the throws don't counter hit. You, you can't be counter hit while doing a throw or a, like a reversal type thing. You'll, you'll just get normal hit if it's a move you can't reverse. Okay. Yeah, LL cool, cool J is craving some poke right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, right now. Some Hawaiian tuna, right? All right. So, now we get on to some homework. The homework section. Because I know you all love homework. 
Mm -hmm. But homework is important because it's how you put this into practice. So, uh, 